You get him? What? You got him? Ian. Ian. Slow down. Are you filming me, baby? Are you filming me, baby? What? What is going on? You shot me at 50 yards, dude. What a hunt. Dude, he's huge. He's a man. Ian, are you kidding me, baby? Any spurs? Nice beard. What a hunt, dude. How long did it, we struck him? What, half hour ago? I, dude, I don't even know if it was that long. Dude, I'm shaking so bad. What a show. What a show and a tough battle. He was a tough turkey too, man. He took his good old time. Ian, oh my man, what a bird. Dude, I'm so happy. I'm so shaky, I can't go shaking. Oh my God. This, he had a monster gobbler earlier this year and his gun didn't go off. I wanted to get him a bird so bad. Dude, look at that. Ian, are you kidding me, baby? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. So, real quick, I'll go into more detail in a bit. We set up on this ridge up here, tons of scratch and this bird gobbled. That bird was probably five to 600 yards up on top of this hill when we first heard him. We got down here, set up half hour later, caught him down in this open bottom. Ian was up there, it was a 50 yard shot. Oh my god. Dude, I'm so happy. Ian. Ian. Dude, I'm shaking. Sitting behind, big old long bird. Um, May 20th is the date. Um, <clears throat> went out this morning to Ian's property. Heard one gobble, gobbled twice. Chased it around for a little while. Um, nothing doing. Kind of was messing around midday, and it was like 10, 10 o'clock. And once you strike up a bird 10 o'clock, you're in the ball game. And man, we uh. We went over this piece of public. I'm like, there's some good woods over here. Let's try it. Well, we called one time. and It was 600 yards away, wouldn't you say? I mean, it, it was a mile. We could barely hear. We didn't even know where it was uh, gobbled from. <clears throat> and um, kind of got everything situated, called it, gobbled again. I mean, it's a mile away. And um, I'm like, I think it's down on this side. So we, got, we ran down there. 150 yards in the woods. You want to tell them how that went down? <laughs> so we got down, we got set up in the woods. Uh, Koi called again. The bird was still about, uh, what would you say, 400 yards? At yeah, that point. 400 yards. Uh, but we could tell he was working his way in. He was hot, gobbling left and right. Kind of took our time. Well, Koi took his time calling, not calling too much, letting him work himself in. Uh, he was he was smart. Like he was like in slow motion walking the whole time. Like I definitely it gets hunted pretty hard there, so he probably got called in or got called to a lot. And he came in looking real slow, and we called him right down off a mountain. Yeah. It was it was a cliff, like not a good setup at all. But I was up on like the other side of the ravine and it's pretty big woods and they're scratching all through there and Ian sat down probably like 30 yards below me and <clears throat> you heard him coming probably what yeah. 100 yards and you can tell what you saw because I couldn't I couldn't see much so at the bottom of the hill he hit it was about like a creek bottom he was still probably 80 yards 90 yards trying to find that hen and uh Koi shot up and he was searching, searching, searching for this hen. He kept creeping closer. He got to about, uh, what would you say, 50? 50 yards, yeah. 50 yards. He strutted up one time down that creek bottom and he stopped, poked his head out, looking for that hen one time and it was all she wrote. Man, it is a freaking gorgeous bird. Some of the prettiest colors on an eastern turkey I've seen. Nine inch beard. We measured them at inch spurs. I think that's right. About an inch. This oh. one's an inch. About an inch spurs. 
Just a beautiful freaking gobbler. I, just, I mean, we were about done calling it a day. It got sunny out real hot, and we just decided to head on over this one place near where we where we called in that one a couple years ago for Ian. And uh, that's all she wrote. I, I literally threw this call together. Um, it's a bat wing call. I literally threw some random latex together and was running it the past couple days. And man, it's I'd say it did the job today. Worked nice, so get a hold of me for calls. Next year I'm gonna be making a bunch of these calls, a bunch of different kinds, so I'm excited about that. We did it. What a great hunt. Alright, we're just sitting here enjoying the moment. Earlier in the year, Ian had a a big gobbler man strutting coming in. That video's on the channel, the gun didn't go off and it was just terrible luck and I was like trying so hard but you know he deserved the bird putting in a lot of time and um, when that bird struck up like I could tell he was willing to play the game it was probably 1030 and um, <clears throat> got down in there and called just enough to let him know where we were at and I probably shot up for what would you say in five minutes at one point yeah maybe a little longer than that yeah it just was quiet and let him work down this ridge and I, I just completely shut up and started you know raking the leaves because it was just dry perfect for raking started raking some leaves and doing some soft yelps my god he he came down off that ridge it wasn't two minutes after that one you say and you got a oh, yeah. shot at him so it was just a, a great hunt and like I, I'll say it every time there's a million different pitches and sounds you can call in turkeys with and I make calls and I'll even say that it's not all the calls like you just consistency and timing will kill a turkey 99 percent of the time you can call them in on box calls slate calls whatever you, if you're consistent with your calling and your timing and don't over call you'll you'll kill birds so it's, it's been a great year my dad got one then i got one um and i got my second one that's three my grandpa now that's five birds on the air force so it's been an unbelievable spring turkey season and I've been a part of some really nice hunts, so hopefully bring you some more action.